Hello everyone, I welcome you all to today's session on YouTube and today is going to be very interesting. It's going to be something which is different from the general surgeries uh, that, uh, that come under the domain of cosmetic surgeries and it's something which is um, in a way a special uh, kind of procedure because it is something uh, related to achieving an hourglass figure. So I am going to explain to you the different modalities that we have and those which can help you achieve the much desired hourglass figure. I am Dr. Parag Telan, I am the founder and director of Designer Bodies, a center for advanced cosmetic surgery located in Mumbai, India. And I am going to explain to you what exactly is it about these celebrities which, which makes uh, people crazy about their body shapes or what it is that has given these celebrities superstardom and lot of fame. If you look at each post that they put on uh, Instagram and other social media, they get likes and likes and lakhs and lakhs of likes and that's because of their body shape. So what is it that has given them this kind of a body shape which is the hourglass figure shape that I am going to explain to you about. So when we actually look at our own body structure, we, we find that the reality can be quite different from what uh, we expect to have or what we want to have. So there are different types of body types which have been described and this could be uh, a rectangular body type where the upper and the lower body are more or less of the same width. Somebody can have a triangular body type where the upper part of the chest is very narrow and the hips are wide thereby giving a kind of a triangular appearance to the body. In the middle we of course have the hourglass figure where the waistline is absolutely slim and the breast and the hips are proportionate. And of course there are uh, heavier body types such as the inverted triangle and the round where there is a lot of fat around the hips, uh, the bust size is heavy and uh, that again is the other extreme. What we need to have or what we want to create is something in the middle which is the hourglass shape. Now of course uh, if you look at the buttock shape there are different types of buttock shapes as well from squarish to the round one to the heart shaped or the V shape and if you actually analyze what is it that gives an hourglass shape there are two views to it. One is of course the front view. So whatever projection is there on the sides, on the hips, that can help create the effect of an hourglass shape. And what is there behind on the buttock, that can also help give uh, the effect of an hourglass shape. So sometimes we combine procedures for the butt and with the hip in order to give the hourglass shape. Some females have uh, a good shape or good volume to the buttock but their hips are quite narrow. There is a specific portion of the hip on the sides which is called as a hip dip and this hip dip is basically the concavity on the side of the hip. I am going to show it to you in some time. And this hip dip is what spoils uh, the hourglass uh, concept or hourglass figure in a woman's body. So how does uh, a hip dip affect the final outcome and what are the options to create an hourglass figure by correcting these hip dips is going to be the topic of discussion in this presentation. So when we move on, there are two main options that we have for creating a perfect hourglass figure and these two options are fat and implants. So when we talk of implants, there are different shapes that are available nowadays. These implants could be in the form of a biconvex where both upper and lower margins are concave convex. There could be of course the more popular round implants and now the latest addition to this shape is the teardrop or anatomical implant. So teardrop or anatomical implant means the volume on the top is less and it is more rounded in the lower part. So because there are multiple options in terms of the shape and of course in, in terms of the size, it gives us much more flexibility in achieving what a patient wants or what a patient desires. 
for example if you look at the front view if you are looking for enhancement in this portion that is with the help of a hip implant and if you are looking for enhancement of this portion of the buttock it is done with the help of a butt implant so both these implants are different they are not the same both these surgeries are different and the outcomes are different so it is important to understand first which is the area of the body which needs to be enhanced whether it is the sides that is the hips or whether it is the buttock which is the behind portion the options for both are quite different these are some examples of a patient who uh, we did a buttock augmentation surgery for you can see that before the surgery there is a kind of flatness on the buttocks and she wanted a more enhanced look to the buttock and a more uh, projection uh, kind of effect on the butt so let us see now after the surgery when we uh, take a small video how the buttock has shaped after the butt implant procedure this procedure is quite safe and uh, the implants are made of cohesive gel implants now many years back when the butt implants first started uh, being manufactured in india these implants were made of solid silicon and they used to feel very artificial they used to feel very hard and tough and uh, i used to not like these implants and patients also used to hate these implants but nowadays the implants that we use they are very soft they are made of cohesive gel implants and they are quite similar to the implants that are used for the breast and therefore nowadays the effect of a butt implant procedure looks much more natural and uh, it, the patients uh, get a proper natural kind of a feel at the end of this procedure so to touch or to feel these implants feel like natural buttocks they don't feel hard or you don't feel as if you are carrying some rocks on your behind or you know some hard structure on the behind and the incision for this surgery is is quite concealed nobody can make out that you have had a surgery because the incision is uh, concealed in the middle of the butt crease and even if you wear like a bikini kind of an outfit nobody can really make out or see this incision these are some examples of hip implants now hip implants as i said are basically to fill the hip dips which are these portions of the body so sometimes the shape of the waistline is okay but then there is like a concave area there is like a depression on each side and this spoils the appearance of the hourglass shape therefore there are specific implants which are placed for enhancing the sides and these are called as hip implants and you can see that after the uh, hip implants the patient has a very good hourglass figure and that is what she desired at the same time we have done vaser lipo of her tummy of the side so that the tummy has also become sculpted tummy is absolutely fat, flat and the sides have also been uh, sculpted in such a way that now she has a proper hourglass figure so addition of hip implants to correct the hip dips is one of the options that we can offer and for those who desire to have a better shape on the butt area butt implants is is a very popular option so the butt implants give a proper projection and roundness to the butt area of course at the same time we do lipo sculpture by removing fat on the waistline and above the butt area so that this area becomes concave about the butt and then the butt uh, contour is that much better enhanced so these are uh, some examples of a butt implant and how a butt implant can be used to contour the body or to give the hourglass figure that everybody wants now that brings me to the second option that we have for creating an hourglass shape which is a bbl a bbl means a brazilian butt lift so it is a common misconception that people have that a brazilian butt lift means that only fat will be injected in the buttocks the correct answer is that it's not only injection of fat in the buttocks it is a proper contouring of the entire waistline along with addition of fat to the buttock of course for this you need to have adequate amount of fat in the abdomen or flanks 
there has to be a good tone of the buttock area you should not have uh, any stretch marks or looseness of skin and of course is as in all procedures it's important to have realistic expectations from what you can achieve these are some examples of a brazilian butt lips so normally there is some fat that accumulates on the waistline and unless this fat is removed this concavity on the waistline is not obtained and that uh, is is what is the first step in creating an hourglass figure once this fat has been removed it is processed it is filtered purified and then it's injected in the buttocks and that is what gives a lifted appearance or a more voluminous appearance to the buttock you see how flat the buttock is before and how it has given a nice contour and shape to the buttock with the brazilian butt lift procedure this is another example and you can see that before the procedure her uh, figure was quite rectangular and flat and after the brazilian butt lift now she has a proper hourglass figure how has this been achieved is by removal of fat from some areas such as the waistline above the butt on the sides below the buttock and injection of purified fat into the upper aspect of the butt into the central part of the butt and also in the sides and that's what has created the effect of an hourglass figure so there are some more examples that i would want to show you this was a lady who wanted to enhance the size and shape of her buttock she of course had a good amount of fat in the rest of her thighs she wanted to have leaner thighs so we have done liposculpture of the outer thigh of the part under the butt and the knee rolls and all this fat that was obtained has been purified and injected into the buttocks to create an hourglass shape you can see it better in the two third view that initially the butt was wrinkly because of the cellulite it was not very smooth the volume was not good and after fat injection now she has a proper contour on the buttocks and has a proper waistline this is another example of a lady who had uh, fat deposits mainly in the waistline and in the area under the butt and she wanted more volume on the butt so we have sculpted her waistline so that the waistline becomes narrow and we have injected this fat not only in the butts but also in the hips and in the hip dips and that's what has created a hourglass figure for this patient this is her two third view and you can see again in the two third view that the waistline has been uh, made concave by sculpting the waistline removing all the excess fat and injecting this fat into the buttocks so that the shape of the buttocks has improved so friends this was a brief overview about a procedure called as uh, a procedure for enhancement of the hips and the buttocks and to create an hourglass shape these surgeries are done under general anesthesia typically a butt augmentation takes around 1 and 1/2 to 2 hours a hip implant also takes roughly around 1.5 to 2 hours and the uh, patient remains admitted in the hospital for one night post procedure the patient is given a corset to wear which is like a body shaper and that is basically to maintain whatever shape has been given to the body the patient is called back after 4 days to remove all the tapes and then they can start taking a shower so first 4 to 5 days you have to lie down on your tummy because we don't want too much of pressure on the buttocks so you are not allowed to sit or you are not allowed to uh, you know sit on hard surfaces especially even when you are sleeping you have to sleep ulta on your tummy so that there is no pressure on the buttocks there are of course specialized pillows that are nowadays available which are called as bbl pillows and you can buy them on online on amazon or other sites and these pillows uh, have a kind of concavity to accommodate the buttocks and these are uh, good to use in the post operative period recovery wise these surgeries need around 2 weeks of time for rest and recovery of course the corset that is given to you needs to be worn at least for 4 weeks that is for a month and this is how um, the procedure is performed uh, preeti is asking if you take out fat from the stomach uh, if you take out fat from the stomach and sides and inject into the buttock how do these people sleep 
uh, sleeping on the stomach is not a problem even though fat has been removed from the stomach you can st still sleep on it we don't want you to sleep on the buttock because we don't want pressure on the fat which has been injected so you can either sleep on the tummy or you can sleep on the sides without any problem so this procedure uh, takes around two and a half to three hours four hours is what it is with the uh, use of implants either for hip or for the buttock it is important to take the proper course of antibiotic rest properly till the stitches are healing because these are sensitive areas and the stitches need time to heal so plan it properly don't do it at a time when you have an important event or you know when you are uh, running around too much you need to just relax and let the stitches heal and that's how it works so an hourglass figure is definitely something which we can help you achieve what modality is good for you whether it's with the use of your own fat or with the use of implants either for the hips or for the buttocks that can be assessed only by your plastic surgeon who can guide you about what is an, is an ideal option for you and then you can decide which procedure to opt for when done by a properly qualified plastic surgeon these are very safe surgeries and there are no harmful effects or no life threatening complications that happen after this procedure so i would like to take uh, this uh, minute to thank all our doctor friends and wish you all a very happy doctors day keep uh, doing what you do and uh, help patients recover from the disease or help maintain a healthy lifestyle i thank you all for attending today's live session and i'll be back again next week with another topic of interest in the meantime if you have any other questions either on buttock augmentation or hip implants or anything that you saw in my presentation feel free to message me and i will reply back to you thank you and good night